A couple years ago, it seemed like 360 degree video was supposed to be the biggest and best thing since sliced bread. In the early days, people were 3D printing GoPro mounts, which needed like six GoPros to work. Samsung made a camera, Nikon made a camera. Companies even started making attachments for your phone, all in the hopes that the consumer wanted to share 360 degree VR videos. Facebook and YouTube even jumped on the bandwagon by allowing native 360 uploads, so it seemed like everything was set up for 360 to finally take off. The problem was nobody really wanted to share a 360 video, and I always wondered why. I thought it was kind of cool, but like with most cameras, it's only as good as whatever it is you're filming. And unless you're doing an insane stunts or live somewhere like the Antarctic, most of the footage you're capturing is boring and doesn't translate well into VR. The other problem was that a lot of 360 camera offerings, for lack of a better word, sucked. Fast forward to today, and 360 video might be easier to record and share, but the question still remains. Is it just a gimmick, or is it actually a new, interesting way to create content? Before we dive into this review, I will preface that Wonder360 sent me their new 360 camera, the C1, to test it out. Now, although they gave me this camera to review for free, I was not paid to review it, so my opinion will be as non-biased as possible. Basically, if this thing sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room for a moment. This thing looks exactly the same as the Samsung Gear 360. I don't think that's a bad thing, but it should be said that it's basically identical. You have three buttons, a menu button, a power button, which actually doubles as a back button for the menu, and a Wi-Fi button, and the record button. There's a tripod mount in the bottom, so you can attach various mounts to it, which is nice. It's also metal, so it should hold up pretty well. One thing that bugs me is how exposed the lenses are, considering it didn't come with any sort of case, so you'd probably want to put it in a microfiber pouch or something so the lenses don't get scratched. For your inputs and outputs, you get a micro USB that charges it and a micro SD slot. You do not get a USB charger for the wall, so you will need that, but it does come with the cable. As I said earlier, a big reason 360 hasn't really taken off is because the quality has been poo. That being said, this camera boasts some pretty strong specs. For video, you're shooting in 3K with a 360 field of view. There's also the option to shoot in 2K at 60 FPS, which is pretty cool if you want to do some slow-mo 360. You have a thousand milliamp battery that in my testing lasts it all day with on and off use, but you will see a drastic drop in battery performance with the Wi-Fi on. Speaking of Wi-Fi, you can connect this thing to your phone and control the camera remotely, which is probably the best thing about this unit. You technically never even need to use a computer with this thing. The Wonder 360 app lets you capture, import, and edit footage to share all with a few taps. This is probably what everyone's been waiting for. It's the footage that this camera can capture. So in order to do that, I wanted to try something crazy. So I attached this thing to my Mavic Pro. Now this is not recommended and it's probably not safe. So do not attempt this at home. I can't show actual 360 in this video because it's a 2D format. So if you click the link in the description below, you can actually see the video that is here and you can control it, move around, do whatever you want to do with it in the actual 360. But here's some shots that I chose from this crazy experiment. I also played with this thing while I was in New York, uh, mainly the 60 FPS, and overall I'm pretty happy with the footage. It still suffers from some of the issues other 360 cameras have in that it's still just a little bit pixelated, but for sharing on social media and showing your friends, I do think it's good enough. I hope in the next year or so we get some truly HD footage from these cameras, and at that point I think they'll have a more viable place in the content creation market. For now, I think the Wonder 360 is a really fun toy to play around with. It's not the fault of the camera, but more so the medium. 360 is a very specific use case, so you need to decide if you live a lifestyle that is best captured in 360. Ultimately, if you do buy this thing, you will definitely get your money's worth from it, and that's because it's only $159 USD. And they've sent me a discount link, which will give you 10% off. So if this is your first encounter with 360 video like it was for me, I think this is the best camera out there to give you a taste of what's possible. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more. Also, let me know in the comments, is 360 video a gimmick or is it a true filmmaking format? Catch you in the next one. Cheers.